It's been nearly 48 hours since that devastating crash, which also killed a 33-year-old driver. An emotional vigil was held tonight in West Babylon for the teen who died and his injured friends. Jenna DeAngelis was there. The power of prayer and community palpable at a candlelight vigil for the four teenagers fighting for their lives after a car crash in West Babylon and 18-year-old Riley Goot, who lost his. I just want just everyone to just keep saying Goot, Goot up, <laughs> his nicknames that everyone loved, to not give up on everyone else just because one was lost. In this moment of darkness, friends and family are clenching onto the light. Everyone here is just filled with love and joy for every single one of those kids. The five teens were in a car traveling on Great East Neck Road Saturday after 1 a.m. when Suffolk County police say 33-year-old Michael Desmond, driving on Railroad Avenue, failed to stop at a red light and struck their car. Desmond didn't survive and I heard something that sounded almost like an explosion. Jocelyn Alberto and her husband ran out of their home and immediately called 911. I can't imagine what those parents are going through. Bella, Jack, Austin, and Anthony, who are still fighting in the hospital right now. Those who gathered Sunday night, sharing how special each one of them are. Anthony, or Pags, we call him. He's just never heard a bad thing come out of his mouth. He's just the nicest kid you'll ever meet. Ryan Quinn, friends with siblings Bella and Austin Treza. Both of them, just amazing people. This vigil brings together three school communities these students attend or attended, West Babylon, St. Anthony's, and St. John the Baptist High Schools. Loved ones leaving messages in prayer boxes, bearing the teens' names, and sharing an important one. It's just got just to gotta love your friends and family. Just give them a hug. Just tell them you love them. The community will continue to gather for those affected. A prayer vigil will be held at St. John the Baptist High School Monday night at 7. In West Babylon, Long Island, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS News, New York. And the superintendent of schools in West Babylon says counselors and support services will be available to all students beginning tomorrow.